Imagine a race where humans and robots compete side by side. In April 2025, Beijing's Daxing District will host the world's first human-robot half-marathon, a groundbreaking event that signifies a major leap in robotics and artificial intelligence. This isn't just a race, it's a testament to technological innovation and its profound implications for our future. A marathon is a test of endurance, agility, and strategy. But what happens when robots join the race? This April 2025, Beijing's Daxing District will witness history as humanoid robots compete alongside 12,000 human runners in the world's first human-robot half-marathon. This 21-kilometer event isn't just a novelty, it's a real-world proving ground for AI-powered humanoid robots testing their ability to move efficiently, balance dynamically, and sustain performance over long distances. To qualify, each participating robot must be bipedal, no wheels allowed, and stand between 0.5 to 2 meters tall. Robots can be autonomous or remote controlled, but their designs must mimic human locomotion. This requirement alone presents a massive challenge Walking and running on two legs in a dynamic environment is vastly more complex than rolling on wheels. Unlike stationary AI applications, these robots must continuously adapt to terrain changes, fatigue, and real-time decision-making, a leap forward in robotic intelligence. One of the standout competitors will likely be Tiangong, a humanoid developed by China's Embodied AI Robotics Innovation Center, which made waves last year by sprinting the final 100 meters at the Yizhuang Half Marathon in Beijing. This event, however, pushes boundaries further. It's the first full-session humanoid race, making it a critical benchmark in robotic movement research. Beyond performance, engineers will collect vital data on energy consumption, mechanical stress, and AI-based adaptability. Battery life is a particularly pressing issue, which is why organizers are allowing battery replacements mid-race. Unlike humans, robots don't sweat or slow down due to exhaustion, but motor strain, overheating, and power efficiency remain serious hurdles. This marathon is more than an experiment. It's a public demonstration of how far humanoid robotics has come. Success could accelerate their integration into everyday life, proving they can navigate the same spaces and challenges as humans. Failure, on the other hand, will highlight exactly where robotic technology still falls short. Either way, this event is set to redefine what we expect from AI-powered machines. This marathon isn't just about showcasing robots. It's part of China's grand strategy to dominate the fields of robotics and artificial intelligence. The country has aggressively invested in humanoid development, identifying it as a key industry to boost economic growth, reduce reliance on foreign technology, and maintain global competitiveness. China already leads the world in robot adoption. In 2023, Chinese clients installed 276,288 industrial robots, accounting for 51% of global installations. Projections suggest the country's robotics industry could be worth 400 billion yuan, 54.6 billion, by 2030. But this marathon is about more than factory robots. It's about creating intelligent humanoids that can work alongside humans in dynamic, unpredictable environments. A major driving force behind China's AI push is its demographic crisis. With 310 million people aged 60 and above, 22% of the population, China faces a declining workforce and an increasing demand for elderly care, healthcare assistance, and labor automation. The government is betting on humanoid robots to fill gaps in caregiving, factory work, and even household services. If successful, these robots could reduce labor shortages while allowing China to maintain its economic output despite a shrinking working age population. The Chinese government has already implemented targeted policies to accelerate humanoid robot development. Cities like Hangzhou, Nanjing, and Tianfu New Area in Sichuan are offering subsidies and funding incentives to robotics companies focusing on AI-powered humanoid design. The Beijing-based World Robot Conference has become a global stage for showcasing China's advancements, with new policy frameworks supporting R&D, 
testing and deployment. Unlike traditional industrial robots, humanoids require advancements in AI-driven perception, balance control, and real-time adaptability. This marathon represents a crucial test of these capabilities in an uncontrolled real-world setting. If China can demonstrate humanoid efficiency at scale, it will solidify its lead in the next phase of AI-driven automation. This event also serves as a global PR move, positioning China as the leader in humanoid robotics development. The US, Japan, and Europe have made progress with companies like Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, and Tesla's Optimus. But China's state-backed approach and rapid deployment strategies could give it the edge in mass adoption and industrial application. China may be leading the charge in robotic deployment, but it faces stiff competition from global players, particularly the United States, Japan, and South Korea. The success of this marathon will be a crucial indicator of where China stands in the race to develop practical human-like robots for real-world applications. The U.S. prospective companies like Tesla, Boston Dynamics, and Agility Robotics are pushing forward with humanoid AI models. Elon Musk has boldly claimed that Tesla's Optimus robot could become worth $25 trillion, revolutionizing industries ranging from manufacturing to logistics. However, Tesla's current prototypes remain in early-stage testing, with no large-scale deployment yet. Boston Dynamics' Atlas robot has showcased impressive mobility, but the company is still focused on commercial applications for logistics rather than humanoid versatility. Japan and South Korea's approach Japan has long been a pioneer in humanoid robotics, with legendary projects like Honda's Asimo setting benchmarks in the past. Today, companies like SoftBank Robotics and Toyota are developing service-oriented humanoids designed for elderly care and assistance roles. South Korea, led by Hyundai-owned Boston Dynamics, is also making advances in robotic mobility and industrial applications. However, these companies remain more focused on commercial and practical robots, whereas China is aggressively exploring humanoids for wider societal integration. China's competitive edge China's state-led approach gives it a significant advantage. Unlike private companies in the West that must balance profitability with R&D investments, China's government-backed initiatives allow for aggressive funding, testing, and nationwide rollouts. The country has already made breakthroughs in robo-taxi fleets, AI-powered healthcare assistants, and robotic factory workers, suggesting that humanoid robots could follow a similar trajectory challenges and roadblocks. Despite its rapid progress, China still faces major hurdles in humanoid robotics. Hardware limitations. Developing lightweight yet powerful actuators for human-like motion remains a challenge. AI complexity. Real-time decision-making, object recognition, and situational awareness need significant improvements. Energy efficiency. Current battery technology limits how long humanoids can function before requiring recharges or swaps. If China's humanoid robots successfully complete this marathon, it will signal a massive technological leap, proving they can operate outside controlled environments. However, if they struggle, it will highlight the remaining gaps in mobility, endurance, and AI decision-making. The upcoming human robot half-marathon in Beijing is more than a novel event, it's a reflection of China's strategic vision in robotics and AI. By pushing the boundaries of what's possible, this race symbolizes the nation's ambitions and the transformative potential of technology in addressing societal challenges. As we witness robots running alongside humans, we're glimpsing a future where intelligent machines play an integral role in our daily lives, reshaping industries and redefining possibilities. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.